Hello Internet and welcome back. So this video will be very short and, and it's just inspired by a brief discussion that has been on the forums uh, a while ago. So consider this, you are developing a TouchGFX application and you spend an awful lot of time programming and debugging your system. So what we want to do is look into any number of ways we can speed up the debugging process just by the tiniest bit. Um, so this video is just an insights video, it's a short uh, bit that you may be able to use for something. So let's uh, assume that we just have a working program. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just, just as I'm used to, um, I will rather unscientifically start at a stopwatch when I press uh, the debug uh, button here. So let's go. And we'll have a look at how, f how long time actually passes until we reach uh, the breakpoint at main. So uh, we're going to spend quite some time setting the system up and also some time uh, programming the chip and also the external loader. Uh, so getting up on 20 seconds now here. Uh, I'm looking down here at, at the percentage. So that should be uh, 100. So now we're done. Okay, so that is just about 28 seconds. I don't have that much uh, in my external memory in my quad SPI, as you can see here, I only have uh, eight sectors that are that are needed. It's not a lot, but I would imagine that you might have a project that has very graphics intens in intensive, and this project that I'm working on here might be as well at some point. So the same thing applies. I mean, there are some things we we can we can change, and something some things we can't. So. We have to speed up this uh, programming process and quite obviously we are gonna remove uh, some of the checks. So what we can do, we, of course, we start with stopping the debugging session here and reset the stopwatch. So what we can do here, we just uh, go to debug configurations and uh, in the debugger tab here. So another assumption for this to work is to say, okay, we are done changing the graphical assets. But that will happen some, so at some point in, in your development cycle. You're done with the TouchGFX part. So all your graphics uh, is done. This is just uh, hardware interactions and hardware stuff that you're working on. That means that we don't need to program the Quad SPI. And that's, I mean, for some people it might be glaringly obvious. To some others, uh, you might overlook this. So we just remove the external loader here. But what we can also do is we can remove the verify flash download. Okay, yes, we might introduce some problems here. Um, and these these two uh, check marks will be the first things that you need to turn back on in order to make sure that everything is working. But if we just press apply here and close this, then we can uh, reset the whole uh, thing and press debug again. Let's go. Three, two, one. Again, we look down here so most of the time is spend spend on establishing connections 10 seconds uh, let's see here there we go so that is 21 22 seconds so we are shaving off around six seconds with my projects at this point uh, in the development. If you have a very graphics intensive system or setup, you might save a lot more. And remember that these values uh, stack on top of each other. So every time you press that debug button, you will save these six seconds. So there's another small uh, thing that I will show you in the debug configurations as well. Um, it might be useful, it might not. Uh, if you go to the startup here, you have a check mark that says set breakpoint at, uh, and if you remove that, the system will automatically start the running the code. It might be a good idea for you, it might not. So use at your own discretion. I will just turn this back on here, um, so I know that these are done. But the verify flash, of course, shaves off some time of the actual programming because we don't verify it. 
um, and the external loader well uh, if we don't program the external flash then we don't um, need to spend time on that so that was just a really short video uh, highlighting some of the the notes from the forum i hope you're all safe and sound out there until next time thanks for watching